السلام علیکم فرینڈس سو ٹوڈے ان دس ٹیوٹوریل وی ول کیلکولیٹ دا ایل ایس ٹی فروم لینڈ سیٹ ایٹ اور لینڈ سیٹ نائن ان آر جی آئی ایس سو اف یو وانٹ ٹو کیلکولیٹ ایل ایس ٹی فروم لیول ون امیجری آف لینڈ سیٹ ایٹ دین یو نیڈ ٹو اپلائی آل دیز فارمولا آن یور راسٹر ڈیٹا سیٹ سو فسٹ آف آل لیٹس امپورٹ دا بینڈس ڈیٹا ریکوائر فار کیلکولیٹنگ ایل ایس ٹی سو ان لینڈ سیٹ ایٹ لیول ون امیجری Just select your band 10, that is thermal band, and then NIR band and red band and add it over here. You can rename this just like this is thermal band, so TB, and this is fifth band NIR, and this one is a red band. So let's move on towards the raster calculator. So search your tool right over here. and this tool raster calculator special analysis and first of all we will apply this formula that is the calculation of toa radians toa is actually radians and radians is the amount of uh, sunlight that is reflected or emitted by any feature or object on our surface so we need ml value and al value and q cal is your 10th band okay, so let's move on toward the file of your satellite and find the mtl file over here open this file and scroll down until you found this radians multi band 10 so we are working on band 10 so we need radians of the band 10 that is this value just and paste it right over here so e minus 4 mean 10 raised to power minus 4 and it also can be written as just like this so point can move of this value so this value is also equal to this value and then al value now let's move toward your raster calculator and put all these value in this formula so first of all we have this radians ml and then we need to multiply it with our band 10 that is thermal band and then we will add add al value that is 0.1 so add 0.1 and you can assign a name or location from over here so we are calculating toa so this is radians just hit okay so here this is the toa radians for our 10th band now we will calculate the temperature brightness from this radians so we will use this formula pd so we need these values so again go to your weather data and uh, scroll down until you found these k1 and k2 constant for your band 10 just copy this and uh, write it over here so first of all we will add k2 k2 and then we will add a divide and then ln divide and then found this function ln from over here again now add the value of k1 and then divide it by the radians band and then bracket close plus 1 okay you can assign a name like bt brightness of temperature just it okay okay this is the bt temperature brightness now we will calculate the ndvi so we know that band 4 and 5 is required for this again go toward your raster calculator and then use a function float and then nir minus with a red band and then divide it by float nir plus red and you can assign the name name as ndvi it token okay. and its range will always come in between minus 1 to plus 1 so this is the ndvi and now we will now we will apply 
this formula on this raster data set this is vegetation propagation so first of all we will apply a function that is square square function and then we will so now add your NTVA belt and then minus minimum NTBA value minus minimum NTBA value is 0. Point, and then divide it with NDVA max and min NDVA max 0. 0.63 618 and minus so use minus from over here and this value and then close this square bracket and you can assign a name name as vegetation propagation hit ok so this is the vegetation propagation raster and now we will apply other formula for emissivity calculation so these two value will remain same for lens at 8 and lens at 9 and we will multiply it with our vegetation propagation band so again open your raster calculator and then copy this value and multiply it with vegetation propagation band and then add this value this is a calibration constant value so add this just like this and this is our emissivity raster now we will apply the last formula that is for LST and open your raster calculator ok first BT divided by bracket 1 plus and then this value so bracket this value and then again follow your formula your brightness temperature raster multiply it with pt and then again follow your formula copy this value from over here divide it with this okay use divide function from over here and then this close this bracket and then again multiply it with ln multiply it function ln and use your emissivity rasters here now close all these brackets rename it LST now this is your LST you can also change the color from over here invert it just like this and you can also clip this for your region of interest like open your image analysis tool and select your LST band from over here and clip this for your view just like this so this is just a temporary file you can export it from over here so this is the land surface temperature LST product that we have calculated in ArcGIS from Landsat 8 level 1 for the data set with all of these formula so red color are actually representing the high temperature values in Celsius so if I will click on any red color then it is 44 degrees Celsius and then for each so you can also clip it for your region of interest or your area of interest and create a beautiful map let's also create a map for your area of interest so here I have the district shape file of Pakistan just select this and uh, go to selection and create a layer from selected feature remove this one and then you can also make it hollow and then again select this again go toward your image analysis tool select your LST raster from over here and clip this shape file for your clip this raster for your area of interest just go to layout view and then zoom to layer
you can also add a northing arrow and you can also add a scale bar double click on the scale bar and make your label in game also bold your forms of your lab, uh, scale and then reduce the subdivision uh, of your bar just like this you can also increase the height of your bar then you can also add legend into your map so this is clip lst next remove this legend from over here and next 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 finish and you can rename this only lst just copy this from over here and add it over here just like this so if you want to also you can also add grid in your map so just export your map So this is the map of LST that you have recently exported from your arc map. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe this channel. Many thanks. Take care and office.